This 12th trading week of 2013 comes to a close with investors breathing a sigh of relief as a banking deal between Greece and Cyprus emerged that eased fears of a financial meltdown on that island. I'm Kristen Bianco and welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap for March 22nd, 2013. The S&P 500, the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones Industrial Average were about even for the week. Crude oil futures are lower for the week, trading at around $92.98 per barrel on Friday afternoon. Gold futures are higher this week, trading at $1,606.58 an ounce. And in notable economic news this week, the Commerce Department announced that housing starts increased by 0.8% last month to an annual rate of 917,000 units. Future construction permits increased by 4.6% to an annual rate of 946,000. That's the quickest since June of 2008. The data suggests that the economy has built momentum during the first quarter. In corporate news, Walgreen announced that it earned $756 million, or $0.79 cents per share, during the most recent fiscal quarter. That's compared to $683 million, or $0.78 cents per share, in the same period of last year. Adjusted earnings were $0.96 cents per share. Analysts had expected earnings of $0.94 cents per share. And Connecticut Water Service announced that earnings declined by 24% to $0.16 cents per share from $0.21 cents per share in the same period of last year. Well, revenue increased to $19.5 million from $15.4 million, beating the average estimate of $18.5 million. Adobe Systems announced a 65% drop in quarterly profit due to higher expenses. Net income fell to $65.1 million, or $0.13 cents per share, from $185.2 million, or $0.37 cents per share in the same period of last year. Revenue fell by 4% to $1 billion, while expenses increased by 16% to $753 million. FedEx announced that quarterly profit was worse than expected due to weakness in the Air Express business. Profit fell by 31% to $361 million, or $1.13 per share. Excluding one-time items, the company earned $1.23 per share. Revenue increased by 4% to $11 billion. Analysts had expected earnings of $1.38 per share on revenue of $10.85 billion. FedEx said it expects fourth quarter earnings of $1.90 to $2.10 per share, with analysts expecting $2.07 per share. Ross Stores announced that earnings for the quarter increased by almost 26% to $1.07 per share from the same period last year, mainly due to successful efforts to cut costs and inventories. Earnings were in line with estimates. Net sales increased by 15% to $2.76 billion from $2.39 billion in the same period last year, beating estimates of $2.75 billion. This is a weekly market wrap for Friday, March 22, 2013. Please join us on Monday for the Week Ahead Market Report. For PassFail.com, I'm Kristen Bianco, taking you behind the ticker.